Hello and welcome back and today I want to make a very very quick video about how to download podcasts um, with RSS feeds to your Synology NAS because it is painfully simple. Over the next few weeks I'm going to show you some of the little tricks and things you can do with your NAS if it's the first time you've owned one or you're just bolstering your already existing data storage setup. But in order to go ahead with this we need to download the download station application for Synology NAS. A number of Synology NASs during the default setup will include this package by default, but if not, head over to the package center and download the official download station application. Now, we're gonna focus on podcast today. We will be doing another video on torrents and another video on FTP, but for now, we wanna focus on podcasts for two reasons. One, because they are brilliant. Let's face it, if you've never listened to a podcast, what the hell are you doing watching this video? Go away and listen to some good podcasts because these days, podcasts are cheap, easy, and incredibly interesting and things you can do, chores around the house, etc. But occasionally, you want to use either streaming service to listen to podcasts or you don't want to have to go through the trouble of downloading them over and over. And one of the great things you can do with a NAS is get the whole thing to be done automatically. So, the download station application gives you the ability to download um, these torrent, um, or they're not torrents, these RSS fed podcasts to one directory on your NAS, and therefore you can either download them all in one big chunk to your phone, synchronize it with your phone, um, you know, whatever device you're using to listen to your podcast, or just have them all available on the NAS, then you can cherry pick and download later. In order to get the um, podcast onto your NAS, you will almost always need to use an RSS feed. Now, RSS has been around for a long time. It's a kind of automatic push system for files, and if you are going to download podcasts, um, podcasts to your NAS, there's many ways in which you can get an RSS feed. Most podcasts with their own website will have a little link to an RSS feed, but for the avoidance of doubt, if you go to podbay.fm and Google, or use the search engine, I should say, any um, podcast there, chances are you will find it. I've already done it in advanced here with The Bugle. Again, The Bugle, personal favorite of mine, been listening to a long time, do recommend it. So, if you want to download the podcast of your choice onto the NAS, head down via Podbay FM and right click on Open ISS Feed. Go to Click Link Address. Then, on your Synology NAS, click the plus symbol, from here, you want to enter, I oh know what am I doing, sorry, back up. Go to RSS feed. For here, click the plus symbol. Then enter the URL you've just copied. And you can either set it up to automatically download all files, or you can actually get it to give you the entire feed of files as you see here, and you can cherry pick them. So for now, what I'm gonna do is the cherry picking version. Click add. It will scan and it will give you the entire list of podcasts currently available. As you can see, there's over 250 items listed there. Again, if we move that up, we can cycle through. And if we want to download them, we can right click, just directly download them to the default folder on your NAS or download to a selective folder or open them and play them via the web browser. With the download filter, you can add certain things that you want to add or remove. That way, if you're looking for specific podcasts within a certain range or feature a certain person, you can enter those details there to create a filter system for those podcasts. But say for now, we wanted the last 10 episodes of The Bugle. We can just go select them all, right click, download, and now it's going to download all of those podcasts. If we go to the download tab here at the top, and there's all of our podcast episodes downloading. Now, because it might make things a bit choppy, I'm just gonna end those, but as you can see, it's downloading them one by one. And if you do go to the settings, you can set it up that multiple files are downloaded at the same time. Again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly stop all of these, because say you want to download all of the available episodes, all you need to do then is go back to the setup of the RSS feed. It's just gonna go and cancel that one because it's in process. And then you can feed it the same con control link you've got there. So copy that RSS feed button there. 
go to RSS feed, click plus, and this time you can automatically download every single episode of a show in one go. And every one of those folders and files will be ready for you to listen to at your leisure. Now, in my next video uh, for Synology NAS, I am going to show you how to download torrents. It's very, very similar to this with a few differences. But always stay legal, guys, because otherwise you are spoiling it for everyone else. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you 